it all began on that fateful day. Get up, stretch my legs. Good morning. Come on. Hey. Now. No, no, no. Stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast. No care. Eggs. Drink some water, brush my teeth, get out of bed and I stretch. It all began on that fateful day. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but no, really seriously, it did. <laughs> Stop eating the sticks. Come here. Come here. I mean, not the sticks, the rocks. Here, get this stick. Get this stick. Go. Go get it. Go get it. Just threw it. Okay, so not yesterday, but I think the day before, um, Finley and I went to the visitor center that's here in um, here in town, and it wasn't the most helpful experience ever, but it is where we found the spot. After going there, I decided to take Finley to the place that she said we could stop by because it was too late in the day to do an actual hike and because the place that she told us to stop by came with the promise of running water. Unlike this water that only wants to flow anywhere as long as I'm carrying it. Okay, on a serious note though, the lady at the visitor center said that it was a creek and that it wasn't dried up. Did I mention it gets really hot here? After some gallivanting around in the water, some grass eating, and endless searching for a stick that I never threw. We explored around the area a little bit. It looked awesome coming in and it was pretty empty, which was nice. As we made it to where the creek crossed the road, we passed some spots that were along the water. I was already thinking this would be a nice area to move to or just generally camp in, like maybe next time we were here or whatever. But then, of all the spots for somebody to move into, with all the ones that were still open and, and available, somebody decided to move in right across the road from us. Not only were they parked right on top of us, but they had some fairly noisy dogs, which I completely understand. It just, it's just what happens when you have a dog. Most dogs bark. It was just kind of a whole thing, and it was just frustrating when you live out of a Jeep or something really small like that that doesn't have a bathroom in it. It's just nice to have a little bit of privacy. Fifi, you're barking off the cliff and it's your echo you're hearing. You're hearing yourself bark. Come here. And hello, Fifi. This is not for you. So all of that happened on the same day. This is a rock, but you can't have this. The next day, we went back to the creek. 
finally ran around for a bit. And then we drove past the creek where it crossed the road and then just followed it around back to the main road. It kind of like loops back around. I hadn't realized the day before that we could because the way it was marked made it seem like private property on that side. I'm glad we did, however, because it was really amazing. It was just so beautiful and a very unexpected surprise. I would never have realized that any of that kind of stuff was over there. And so it's really cool to drive that way and get kind of a different perspective of the national park that you wouldn't get from just driving down the main road. After our little drive, we headed back. Got everything packed up. to do, which makes me crazy. <laughs> Before we headed to our new spot, we took care of a few things in town. headed to our new site. This is where the story takes an unexpected turn. Finley, watch out for the cactuses, buddy. We had gotten to the spot and then went for a drive while we waited for it to cool down a little bit because we got there in the middle of the day and it was the hottest hot that it could possibly be. And it was just too hot to set anything up. Decided 
to go down. It was still kind of warm out, so I was just like, well, we'll just, we'll just drive around and explore the area a little bit more. And this is where we found our current spot, which in my opinion, for our situation, and mostly meaning Finley's situation, this just was a better option. At the end of the day, it doesn't have a nice, wonderful, cool stream just running right alongside it. But it also doesn't have a ton of cattle crap everywhere or cactuses for this dingling dog to run through. It's also just a short walk from here, so easy to get to still and we're not missing out on too much. I'm filming behind the Jeep because it's a lot windier up here than where I was filming at before. I'm not gonna set up a lot of stuff at this site because we're not gonna be here for very long, maybe just a couple of days before we move back to the town that we were at, that we were staying in before we came here. Um, so that we can finish up all the adventures, like I said, that we didn't get to do before. In the footage where I'm in the campsite and I spin around to show you the campsite, you'll see like a folding table and a camping chair on top of that. That's literally all I unpacked. And I think I used the table once and the chair none because the chair is not working on The place we were at before, it had gotten super windy before we left, but it was also super sandy and the chair fell over. And so now it doesn't like slide up and down properly. Anyway, as fascinating as finding out about my broken chair is, I am sure it's not at the top of your list of things to learn about. So with that being said, there will be some awesome adventures coming soon. So make sure you follow along with us so you don't miss out on those. Oh, you are coming out? Okay. Finley, that's all we got.